Hello everyone. It's Stamp Ventures with Shauna, Stampin' Up! demonstrator for Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Canada. Welcome to my Tuesday tutorial. At, let's see, it's very close to 9 o'clock here on Tuesday, November 23rd. Oh my goodness, it is getting much too close to Christmas for my comfort here. Uh, I'm just going to link up with my iPad so I can see that everything is going well and um, maybe catch um, some comments that are coming through. Please give a shout if you're out there, say hello, and oh, there, I forgot to turn the sound down on my iPad. It's been one of those days. Oh my goodness, let me tell you. Ha! Huh. So, um, this morning I got up because I was invited to do a YouTube, no, not a YouTube, <laughs> see, I'm tired, a Zoom video with a global Regina morning person and talk a little bit about making Christmas cards and show Christmas card making. And I had a hot mess of a time getting my camera stand to work and getting the technology to work on my phone. And it was just crazy. Anyways, I think in the next day or two, there might be something on the Global TV, Global Regina TV morning show where there, there, you know, there might be a Christmas card that comes out of it all. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it uh, all came together all right there. And um, anyways, um, but yeah, and since then, well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just uh, in, a, in a flutter here for the rest of the day, but I'm going to, I've got a couple of cool things to share with you today. First of all, um, I'm going to share a tip I'm calling illuminated angels, or it could be a, an illuminated stamp of any kind. So I'm going to share, uh, this, this little technique with you. It's easy. And my, uh, uh, class goers who took my angels of peace class this week got to try this out. Um, I'm going to share a tip about the latest paper pumpkin kit. It makes um, these cute treat boxes and there's three different designs. This is the Christmas tree one, but I'll um, just give you a tip if you wanna get more boxes out of your kit. And finally, I will walk you through the mini catalog and show you all of the stamps and accessories that we'll be saying goodbye to um, I'm going to say it, I was going to say at the end of December, but a lot of them won't last till then. So, um, and good thing though, there are some things that are going to be up to 50% off. So I'll, I'll show you which ones are going to be on sale as well. So I'll turn down the camera. I think I'm going to be able to work my camera stand at this point and, um, get you started here. Hello to Judy and Linda and a few others who have hopped on. Thanks ladies. Hope you're having a good evening. We'll get things turned around and get started. Okay, camera going down. So I'll just cover up the lens for a minute. And there we go. Ooh, I'm feeling like I'm a little off track here. Hmm, can I lift it a little? Can I a little bit more to one side? Well, oh, it still might end up being droopy anyways. Sometimes my camera, there, just making sure that it's all tightened up at the different joints. Okay, got my earbuds too, because that'll help with a more consistent sound. All right, so um, I think probably you've uh, seen this a little funny on Facebook before, getting, get your relative speaking to one another by throwing a random child in your Christmas photograph. There we go. <laughs> um, oh, and a weather word. I should share the weather here in Moose Jaw today. It was summertime. It was glorious and it was beautiful. It wasn't too windy. The um, 
snow that we had from last week's blizzard was melting. So it was just such a treat. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna just share with you this um, quick technique that I'm calling illuminated angels, but it could be an illuminated stamped image of any kind. It doesn't have to be an angel. And uh, so um, I've got a piece of pool party cardstock here. Uh, I don't know, it's probably about um, five inches by three and three quarters, something like that. It doesn't matter, depending on what size of a stamp you use, um, uh, will depend on the size of the cardstock that you want. And I'm just gonna stamp this angel in, oop, I'm getting ink on me already, um, in Knight of Navy ink. Okay, bigger the stamp, the bigger the push. So I'm just making sure that she's making contact in all areas of the, of the image. And I'm gonna close this up for now. So basically, with this technique, what you do is you take and you would stamp a second angel on a scrap piece of paper, just like a piece of printer paper or something like that. And then you fussy cut out the angel that you've stamped on a scrap paper. And I've put just a couple pieces of washi tape on the back of this angel, but any kind of um, tape, um, or something sticky that's not permanent. You want it to be removable. So I'm gonna put my mask, that's what this is that I've created. I'm gonna put my mask down on top of my card, my card layer, just like that. And now I'm gonna grab my pool party ink, which is basically the same, it is the same color as the layer of my card piece and I've got a blending brush and I'm going to load it up with pool party ink. I'm going to stamp or not stamp. I'm going to blend on the angel first and then blend off all around the edges of the angel. And my uh, club ladies and um, the people who, the ladies who took this angels of peace class this week have seen this technique already, but I just love it so much. It's, um, it's really easy and, um, and it has a, a subtle wow to it. So um, it's something that, uh, yeah, it's, it's understated, but it's, it's still pretty cool. Alrighty, here we go. So hello, hello to all of those who are just hopping on. Um, I'll be talking about the items that are coming up on sale on December 1st in just a few minutes. And um, yeah, and you can also see which items are going to retire from the current July through December mini catalog, or some people call it the holiday catalog. Okay. Um, it probably doesn't look from your angle, like I'm doing all that much because it's just the pool party ink on the pool party cardstock. So it probably looks like I'm doing very little from your angle, but I'm starting to see a little bit of a deeper color all along the edge of the angel. And that's what I'm going for. And if you notice me inking on the angel first and then brushing off along the edge, that's because I don't want to get that big blob of ink that you sometimes first get when you touch your blending brush down to the paper. So um, I touch it, the angel, um, the mask first, and then um, I go off and ink along the edges of the outline of the angel. Okay, so there we go. I think that's gonna be enough of an effect that you'll be able to see what's happened. So close this up so I don't get any more ink on me than I need to. And I'm gonna carefully lift the mask so that I don't peel off any top layers of the pool party cardstock. There we go. So that washi tape just held that just in place temporarily. And now um, hopefully you're able to see that 
the center of the angel looks like she's glowing, like there's some light um, in her. I guess that's, you know, kind of what a way any, you would imagine that an angel might be. And all around her, it's a deeper tone, and it's just the tone-on-tone -tone pool party ink that I've used with a blending brush. And so I'm calling this the illuminated angel technique or the illuminated stamped image. And so you don't have to do necessarily any coloring on the inside of your stamp. You can do blending on the outside and um, it creates just the contrast between the deeper tone and the lighter tone on the inside. Um, it's, uh, yeah, an, another technique that you can use in your repertoire. So, um, hope you liked that quick idea for the illuminated angel technique. And while we're here, I'll just show you quickly uh, a few of the other cards that we made this past uh, week for my angel class. So there was the pop-up card that used the whimsy and wonder paper with it. And we embossed the angel, the littlest angel with silver embossing powder. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll be seeing you tomorrow night, Brenda. Yes, we need to do a catch up for those who couldn't make it during last week's blizzard. And here's the littlest angel embossed with silver again. And this time um, she's been colored, uh, well, I shouldn't say this time. Last time she was colored with stamp and blend marker, markers. And this time I colored with the watercolor pencils and instead of blending the watercolor pencils with like a blender pen or a water painter, I blended them with the wink of Stella shimmer brush. So that's kind of fun. She's uh, all shimmery in various places. Well, maybe not her hair, but wherever else and her wings too. I just did the, um, I blended or brushed wink of Stella just on the white cardstock there. And finally, our last card from the angels class was this one um, where she's embossed with the gold and then just fussy cut out and layered with some sprigs and whatnot to create a bit of a bow at the bottom there so oh and there's the Mer merry melody background quick tip if you're using the merry melody background and you don't happen to have the treble clef and bass clef um, to show you which way is up and which way is down for the music. This is what I suggested to the people who took my class is look for the notes that have a dot beside them. In music, we always have the note first and then the dot uh, after it and the dot tells you to hold that note just for a little bit longer. So the dot is never in front of the note, it's always note and then the dots to the right. So anywhere you can see dots, and if they're to the right, then you know that you've got your music up and down just the right way. Okay, hello for those who have just hopped on. Oh, Brenda, I'm so sorry, you you can't, oh, oh no, sorry, you can't wait to make it. I thought for a minute, yeah, I reread your comment and I thought I made a mistake and read that you can't make it. I'm so glad you can make it. Okay, and hello, Melanie, and hello, Emmy. Thanks guys for hopping on. Okay, so we're, Past, uh, finished with the angels there. Uh, and just a reminder, all of those angels came from this stamp set, the Angels of Peace. And that is actually one that is a uh, stamp set that's going to be discontinuing when I do the walk through the mini catalog. Um, I was going to show you just a quick, uh, give you just a quick tip about the paper pumpkin kit that some of us would have received this past week or so. It's got uh, packaging three different designs um, and three of each to create these cute cute treat boxes and I was gonna say little treat boxes they are not so little take a look here look at um yeah how big the tree is for this treat box uh, let's see here five it's like from here to here at the widest part of the tree it's five inches and the height of the tree is it's almost six and a half so you get um, in your paper pumpkin kit for the gifts galore for those who received it this month there's all these different designs to um, decorate your treat boxes hang on where are my snowmen because there's cute little snowmen in this kit too let's see where'd they go 
Um, oh, the snowman fell to the bottom of the box. So there's an example of one of them. So yeah, really good size. And um, they were showing also in the kit that, um, you know, if you didn't want to make treat boxes with them, here's another idea. You can do a Christmas banner or you can take the pieces and um, you can put them on the front of a card or they've created here what I believe is a gift card holder. So they've got a, a few ideas and if you want to see more ideas, you can always go to, um, I think there's a, a Pinterest, a place on Pinterest that shows you uh, more more ideas with this month's kit. So as I mentioned, there are enough of these pieces to make nine treat boxes and the treat boxes are decorated front and back. Um, so it doesn't matter, you know, which side of the table you're sitting on or which side of the tree you're looking at, it will have a design on both sides. But say you were wanting to use these little treat packages for uh, a table treat at your Christmas table setting or um, at a holiday party and maybe you have 12 people in your family or 12 people at your holiday party and you only have nine of these little boxes. So here's what I would suggest that you could do. This is what the, um, the box part of the treat packaging looks like and what you could do is lay this down on a piece of cardstock, a piece of white, I'd say the thick white cardstock, trace around the pattern, score only these two lines, that's all there is for scoring. Well, actually, I lied, there's two more here. <laughs> and then cut that out and you could make an um, extra box or two. And then you're like, well, what am I gonna do uh, for, oh, I've already got tape on that, look at that. Um, what am I gonna do? because I don't have, oh, I'm just looking for my take your pick tool. I don't have decorations for all of the boxes. Well, the option there is that you could just use, decorate one of the sides of the box and then you'd get double the number of treat packaging that you'd normally get in the package. Now, you might have to line up the the designs, the images differently because the images do hang out a little bit below the bottom of the box. But I'll show you what I mean when I get to that part. So I'm just going to put my box together. So right now, um, well, I was going to call this tear and tape. I don't know if it's exactly the same as the tear and tape in our catalog, but it's very similar. This came in the package. It, it's got everything that you need to make these cute treats. Plus there's like little clips and threads to tie on tags so you know which package is for who. Um, there's the little flirty flamingo stampin' spot. And um, this is the cute stamp set that comes with it. It says, Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Oh, what fun, to, from, and then it looks like a present with a bow. So they, uh, I thought they did a really nice job on this packaging. Um, stamp set and there's all kinds of little tags that you can punch out and even if you want to um, not just put your treats into the box but actually fill it in a cello treat bag that's got all these cute little snowflakes on it then you can put your treat bag in there and tie it up with the twine and give it an, an extra an extra dimension, an extra layer with um, with the cello packaging. Now I just realized that half of the time I've been off the camera there. <laughs> I should probably raise my camera up just a little bit. I think, okay, elevator going up a little. Let's see, just waiting to see. Yeah, my stand is just been sagging a little. when. The joints in my stand are not as tight as they should be. The joints start to give away. I thought this was a pretty good stand, but it takes extra, extra tightening. Oh, now everything's growing crooked too. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> okay, so, so this does come with the sticky strip and I'm just pulling off, 
pulling off the covering on the tape. Um, it's always good to go in. You can see I'm burnishing in there um, to make sure that that tape is stuck down really tightly. Oh, that's where I didn't put the extra sticky strip tape. Oh my goodness. How on earth can I be so crooked? Just seeing if I can still adjust this a little bit further. Okay, and while I'm doing that, I'm checking the comments. Oh, Sheila, good job. We'll, we'll be seeing you tomorrow night. Hi, Debbie. I don't know if you're still there, but I'm doing pretty well. Um, my morning started out a little crazy, but it's getting better. Um, Debbie, oh, you haven't got your paper pumpkin kit yet? Oh, I wonder if yours got held up in the weather, the bad weather in BC. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I hope it comes soon. It is super cute. And um, I mean, you've still got time. It doesn't take long to make these little packages up, but I, I sure hope it comes, um, comes soon for you. And oh, I really do order that I do. Oh, <laughs> okay, Emmy. Yeah. Um, and oh, you saw where somebody put bath and body soap in the cello bag in the treat holder. Yeah, they, they are really good size. They could, well, not quite as wide as a stamp pad. Would my nippets fit in there? Yep, they sure would. Absolutely. <laughs> um, you could give somebody some tape. <laughs> yes, there we go. We could fit some tape in there. Uh, yeah, I think a lot, there's a lot that would fit in there. Okay, and hello, Inez. Hello, Glenda. Hope things are going okay with all your packing up and moving and whatnot. I need to talk to you about some, some things, <laughs> some angry birds. I'll, I'll give you a shout about those at some point. Okay, so I'm going to peel off this tape here. And... Ooh, yeah, it's sticky. Okay, it's, it's a good strong tape. Look at how well my finger is stuck to that. Finish these last, this last side of the box. So that's, that's how quick and easy it is to put the boxes together. It takes virtually no time. They're all scored and ready to go for you. So um, like I was suggesting, if you have like 10 or 12 people you need boxes for, trace and cut and score and then just put one of the little images these are so cute on the front of the box i know it won't be double-sided but it'll still be pretty cute oh this one's got nice and straight across the bottom so that one will be easy to and then you're going to get more more out of your kit because you don't want anybody in your family to go without getting their very own little treat box. Um, and the other thing that Stampin' Up! did with these that I thought was just such a good idea is they made little lines here at the back of each picture where that's where you're gonna lay your box down and glue it. And so all you have to do is take and put like a piece of the tear and tape across the top and a piece of the tear and tape across the bottom. And pull in my take your pick tool to peel that backing off. So I want to lay this down on the snowman, but it's got a rounded bottom. And I, for this one, I'm going to put two snowmen. I'm going to have one on the front and one on the back. So, um, I want it, them to line up at the same place. So it just shows you, you're going to take your box and line it right up onto those lines that they've, uh, they've shown there. Oh, now I'm lining up and blocking the light. So I'm going to turn it this way. Hopefully it will show up a little bit better. So line that up straight across, following those lines. That was so smart of them to do that. And then I'm just going to go in and press really firmly where I stuck the tape down. And so I guess the box will stand. It just kind of stands a little bit off to the side. So if you only want to put one of them on, make sure you put your picture lined up even with the bottom of the box. But when you're doing two, 
Okay, where's another snowman? He's hiding here at the bottom of the out of the bottom of the barrel. When you're putting two, then you can line up with these lines that they've shown you on the back of the picture. Is that long enough? Ooh. Maybe a little bit short, but not too bad. Okay. And we'll put one more across the bottom this time. I'll make sure I get enough. Might be a, you, you could use scissors to tear this tape off, but if you've got nails somewhat, you should be able to just tear it with your fingers. Okay, and so now here I go again, snowman number two. I'm going to line up this side of the box, whoops, with the lines that they've drawn there. And I love how it's got the printed design on both sides of the, the image. There's like the tree or the snowman or the presents on one side and then just some cute pattern, patterned paper on the inside. So this tree's got stripes and the, and the presents have like the little snowflakes that are kind of like on the bag. And the snowman's got polka dots. There we go, okay. So that's just some quick tips for this month's Paper Pumpkin. And I'm going to go on now to the July through December slash holiday mini catalog. And I'll show you the items that are being discontinued. I'll show you which ones are carrying over. And then I'll also show you which ones are going to be on sale. And um, just so you know, the sale hasn't started yet. It does not start until December 1st. And everything... Um, that's being discontinued as while well supplies last. So uh, I know I say while well supplies last here under this sale um, note, but anything that's being discontinued really is, is it's all in that same boat. So we'll see if uh, how I'm doing here for being in the camera. I think I'm, I'm in there. Okay. Oh, Inez, you're busy making tea and chocolate treat bags. Are those the chocolates that you got from the Superstore? Or what kind of chocolates did you find? Oh, Glendy, you're hoping to get to the Angel Cards class tomorrow. Okay, crossing fingers. I'll be here. Hope you, hope you can make it. Okay, so this is the lowdown. I went through page by page. They give us long lists and it's not pictures they don't make it fun like you're in grade school they give you long lists of things that are discontinuing and you have to go through it line by line by line by line and so i tried to make this easy for you so if i've circled it and there's a star that means you're going to keep being able to order those items after the end of December. They're going to carry forward, um, probably in the next annual catalog. Um, they will still be available in January and February and going forward. If I did not circle it, that means it's gone. It's no, it will, it will be discontinuing and at any point in December, it could run out. Now, um, there are a couple of items that I've marked in the book as we go. And you'll see, uh, I'll say, a certain percentage off. So for this, I said French, 25% off. There are actually quite a few of the stamp sets in the French language that are on sale. None of the English ones are, and I think that's because um, they can sell the English stamp sets both in Canada and the United States. So they're not worried about having a whole bunch of the English stamp sets left but they can only sell the French stamp sets here in North America, that is, um, to a smaller portion of the population. So Quebec and, and certain pockets of um, French speaking people. So there are some French stamp sets that are 25% off. If you don't mind it being in French, like if you're not interested in the words and you just want the pictures, you could just order it and still in French and still get the sale price. Okay. So, this one's not marked, so it's being discontinued. Um, this one's being discontinued. The French stamp set is 25% off. Um, 
This one's being discontinued. The French stamp set will be 25% off. Oh, there's my box with the star, the starlit punch that punches out all the little twinkle, twinkle little stars, which you probably can't see because I'm falling off of the screen here again. Um, those are carrying forward. Okay, now we have a good serious sale here. These are being discontinued, the stamps and the dies from Great Tidings. But starting December 1st, the dies, just the dies, not the bundle, um, just the dies will be 50% off um, from this set. You might want to grab, you know what, if you've got one of these catalogs, you could like page along with me and if there's something that catches your eye you could mark it right in your catalog or maybe just grab even a scrap paper and mark it down and um, if there seriously is something that you want that goes on sale um, with the sale starting December 1st I suggest you contact me by November 30th and um, we would put in I put in the order like I'll probably stay up till midnight or whatever and get that in on December 1st before things sell out Okay, now these are circled. They are going to be carrying forward, but not right away. They're going to be in the next July to December catalog. So starting next July 2022, um, both of these items. This is discontinued. It's a beautiful ribbon. Um, these guys, I'll show you on the next page. Woo! Yay! The Christmas season bundle and the coordinating dies and the Christmas to remember and Christmas pine cone dies they are carrying forward after December they will show up in the annual the next annual catalog so they'll be available for quite some time okay here's another big sale here um, this is discontinuing and starting December 1st, the dies for the Words of Cheer bundle will be 50% off. This is discontinuing. The French stamp set is 20% off. And the dies that coordinate with it will be 20% off starting December 1st. It's a cute one. I really like the sketchy artwork on this snowman. And there are some nice uh, sort of label style dies there and these these dies actually have embossing on it. it's kind of stitched snowflakes okay another stamp set that the French set of it will be 25% off starting December 1st and it will be discontinuing and the dies will be 50% off so if you like that fancy cloche um, cloche look where you display things in there um, you can consider that one uh, it also has a, another stamp set that it coordinates with that um, I pointed I showed you earlier this cute one with the, the pumpkin pie and the caramel apples Emmy oh my goodness Emmy I just realized that's the stamp that you need Emmy is the queen of caramel here in Moose Jaw she makes wonderful caramel squares and she also does caramel apples so um, the yeah the dies are 50% off for the classic cloche bundle. Uh, this is discontinuing. Silver foil will be carrying forward into the after un, into January and through to the annual catalog. Whimsy and wonder. The only thing that we're going to be keeping is the snowflakes, but they're going to be in the next holiday catalog, the July through December one. The French stamp set of this will go on sale on December 1st at 25% off. The dies are not going on sale because I think these dies have been very popular. Okay, another one that's going to be able to be ordered after Christmas and will probably be in the annual catalog is the Peaceful Deer Bundle. So that's this stamp set and the Deer Builder Punch. And I've seen the January through June catalog and there is a stamp set in there that coordinates with this punch. So of course they had to keep the punch going. Um, this lovely stamp set, Happy Holly Days is discontinuing. And the punch that coordinates with it or that they've bundled it with anyways is going to be 20% off starting December 1st. 
Ah, oh, finally, an English jump set that's going to be on sale. So these cute snowmen, snow, be snow buddy better, they're going to be 20% off starting December 1st. For any of my demonstrator friends who are watching this, um, anytime you see me list a sale price, your discount will be in addition to the price that um, the percentage listed off here. So um, a lot of demonstrators, well, all demonstrators would start out at a 20% off. Um, some move up to a 25% if they stay, stick around for a while. Oh, some ribbon that's going to be on sale. It's discontinuing and will be 15% off the sheer real red ribbon. Another French stamp set that will be on sale in both English and French discontinuing. Holly Jolly Wishes, which had so much, so many fun greetings. That will be discontinuing. Ooh, the Santa Paws and the sweet little stockings. Um, they'll be discontinuing. Um, and the stamp, uh, sorry, the dies will be 50% off. So um, there's some kind of neat ones there. This one kind of looks like a little stitched pocket and then all the animals that coordinate with the stamps and the stockings. Oh, and 10% off of the striped grow grain ribbon. Oh, and the Jolly Felt, 15% off. So all of these things will be discontinuing. Oh, there's my favorite, that's a star. That means it's still going to be available going forward. And that's the brushed metallic card stock. So bronze, copper, gold. <gasps> This was such a cute set. Um, it's discontinuing, the delivering cheer. Here's one, uh, we're not gonna see it for a little while. It's, um, it's going to return again next July through December. So just in time again for the snowy season. So the Penguin Play stamp set and the coordinating Penguin Builder Punch. So we won't be able to order it for a little while, but it will come back again. The Knit Together Background Stamp, that will be available in January and going forward. The Knit Together Dies are being discontinued and they're gonna be 50% off in just starting December 1st. And there's a sample made with um, one of the Knit, well, with the Knit Together, the Dies. Just so you get an idea of what that's like. Candy cane backgrounds discontinuing. The red and green foil is discontinuing and a great time to grab some foil. It's going to be 20% off. I don't know if you can see that very well, but my light is not the greatest there. Oh, I was very disappointed with the peaceful cabin because it's discontinuing. And I really, really like that just because not only is it for Christmas, but for win winter and outdoors and anybody who's nature-ish and cabin-y. Um, but there are some things that are starred that will still be available into January and on. Uh, the Timber 3D embossing folder and the Glittered Organdy ribbon. Those will still be available. The Snowy White Velvet Sheets. They'll be in next holiday, next July through December's catalog. It feels funny saying next next year's holiday catalog, that's what I wanna say. And of course, the beautiful paper will, will not be available any longer. Okay, yeah, oh, if you wanted to get the Peaceful Cabin and you didn't mind getting the words in French, it'll be 20% off. The polar bears, um, they make me think of the Coca-Cola bears. If you're old enough to know the Coca-Cola commercial, I, I think they're not that old, are they? <laughs> they haven't been, they, they've been around fairly recently. Um, yeah, they're discontinuing and the coordinating dies will be 15, 50% off starting December 1st. Okay, I'm just checking to see. Um, Oh, yes, Pam, you're getting ready for Thanksgiving. Happy almost Thanksgiving to you and, and all the friends in the United States. Yes. Oh, you do want to do the caramel apple stamp. Yeah, that would be a good one for you, Emmy, for sure. I'll, I'll get back to you about the stamp. So the bright baubles and the beautiful dyes, they're discontinuing. 
the Fort Unto Us in red velvet paper is discontinuing. There we go. I talked about the angels and they will be discontinued. Uh, but this, uh, thankfully, the Merry Melody embossing folder, the one that plays Joy to the World, it will still be available January and on into the new year. This beautiful stamp set and die, um, it's a hybrid uh, die that's got an embossing folder with a die that cuts and does detail around the embossed areas. It's going to come back next July for the next year's holiday catalog. So I was excited to see that. And Susto, I know you have that. You might have convinced me that I might just have to get that for next year because it's beautiful. Blackberry Beauty, our paper is discontinuing. Um, the, oh, I have to wait a second here. The French stamp set is 20% off. The dies are just regular price. The Ephemera Beauty no, Blackberry Beauty Ephemera pack is 20, going to be 20% off. And the Gold Shimmer Vellum will be 10% off. Oh, I was happy to see the Gold Shimmer Ribbon will um, come back next Christmas. It is very lovely. Okay, Welcoming Woods discontinuing. Gorgeous Leaves discontinuing. We're getting there, guys. Pretty Pumpkins and the, its dyes discontinuing. Oh, there's a star. So the Nuts About Squirrels, they are going to be available in January and onward into the next year. Halloween, um, this black and white gingham ribbon, which is very cute and I haven't used mine yet. And I'm like, I've got to figure out how to use this. It's going to be going forward um, January, February into the new year. I think that could be used for a really cute Valentine's project. Uh, I have to think more about this, but I, I do need to get using mine because I do like it. Um, and then the punch and coordinating stamps and paper and tombstone boxes, they'll all be discontinuing. The stars, which have um, adhesive on the backs of them, they'll be 10% off. Okay, some more Halloween that's discontinuing. Um, and Halloween is discontinuing. And I didn't mark anything by the glitter paper, the black glitter paper. So I think it's discontinuing too. Harvest Meadow. Oh, one of my very favorite things in the entire uh, mini catalog. Happy to say that come into January and going forward, this will remain available. So will the time-worn type 3D embossing folder and the brushed metallic adhesive back dots. The diamond weave ribbon and the cork specialty paper will be done. They will be while supplies last. The cork was very, very cool. It was really interesting to work with. I, I hope they come back at some point. They'll bring cork back again. So yes, continuing, continuing, and even I think it's going to continue at the bundled price. Yay! They don't always continue the bundled price, carry the bundled price over. Often they sell the stamps and dies separately when they come out in the next catalog. But that one, I think they are continuing with the ten percent bundled price. This paper and the heartfelt wishes are discontinuing. Sparkle of the season and the beautiful wreaths that it cuts out is discontinuing and um, if you've seen some lovely samples with these dyes and um, delicate wreaths the d the dyes will be 40 percent off starting december 1st this is one that i could see selling out very very quickly um, i think people have started seeing enough samples of this now and um so they, I think this one will probably go fairly quickly. Little Delights is going to be discontinued. And the Star Crust Embossing Folder is also being discontinued. And it will be 20% off. Okay. Reflected in Nature. Uh, this distinctive stamp, it will be discontinued. 
time of giving that makes these cool kind of tag like cutouts. Um, the dies and the stamp set are being discontinued. If you wanted to get the stamp set with French greetings, it would be 25% off. Some more that are discontinued and if you can speak and give cards and projects in French, then there's a bit of a sale for you there. The wonderful gems are discontinuing and they will be 15% off. We're going to be saying goodbye to Joyful Life. Look at that little piggy. I think we decided he might be carrying a cup of coffee, but somebody said he could be holding a microphone too. <laughs> Okay, and Festive and Bright, discontinuing, and the dyes will be 50% off starting December 1st. So um, the rest of this is basically an index for the things that we've already looked at, and then the host stamps that are listed at the back are always discontinued at the end of any catalog. So I hope that gives you an idea of what's continuing. There isn't a lot. Some of it will still be available right into January and then some of it, like I said, where it says next JD, that means next July through December, um, it'll be, you know, put into the vault like they do with some of the Disney movies and then they'll take it out of the vault again um, later next year. And um, yeah, if you caught something that you're interested in for the sale, make sure you contact me before December 1st because uh, I'll want to get all the sale items loaded into the order so that um, it will get going right, right away when the sale starts because uh, there are no guarantees that anything will last for, for very long. So thank you so much for joining me, for checking out what's uh, going to be finishing off in this catalog and for seeing some of the paper pumpkin treat boxes and for learning about my illuminated angels technique. I hope you have a great week. If you have any questions at all, give me a shout. And if you happen to be living in the Regina area, um, if you turn your TV on in the morning, I might, I might be on global TV showing how to make a card. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so thanks all again for joining me tonight. Have a great evening and we'll talk to you later. Bye for now.